guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be doing a what's on my iPad Pro as well as showing how I take my notes and I will also be sharing like alternative apps and yeah so let's just get right into this video so I have been a paperless student since 2017 when I was in high school I got the iPad Pro 9.7 inch I think this was the 2016 model actually and the Apple Pencil as well so the first generation Apple Pencil and this iPad I just recently bought this silicone clear case for my iPad because I constantly keep it with my laptop in my laptop sleeve thing so yeah and I also have a glass screen protector on my iPad but yeah it's just the rose gold version it has 256 gigabytes of storage and it has lasted me like can't complain <laughs> so let's just switch up the camera angles and let me show you what's on my iPad so I'm just gonna film landscape just so you guys can see everything a little bit more clearly so when you first look at my iPad or open my iPad it literally just has this wallpaper which is just like a drone view of a beach and I'll leave a link to my Pinterest board down below where you can find this wallpaper yeah I literally have this like widget bar on the side here I activated it with the new um, update that happened like quite a while ago and I just have the weather and my calendars up next I have mainly everything organized into folders I only have one page of apps so the first folder I have is called uni and in this folder I have WordPress which is for like um, my WordPress blog for multi um, where we just have to like put in our progress and everything and whatnot so yeah that's basically it so I can just write some quick blog posts on my iPad I never do but I just have the app I always just write them on my laptop simultaneously as I'm working but it's just good to have in case then I have Milanote so Milanote is this kind of like space that our academy is currently using for um just like our online classes and everything so it's just a place where you can like organize all your stuff you can put tasks in here I don't really use the app that much I just use it so that I can have reminders for certain things if changes happen on one of the boards and everything so it's basically you can like make mood boards put tasks put like your deadlines in here so it's like one big organizational app our previous event which was a group project and yeah we just have like all our stuff I mainly use this on the desktop as I said before but yeah that's Milanote I then have Adobe Scan this is the scanning app that I use I do have the Adobe software and let me just move this I do have the Adobe software for like the full package so I do have this app and then you can just scan and it makes anything into a PDF so that you can keep all your files in one place and keep them digitally so I just have my, my certificates and everything in there as well I then have Envision and Envision is sort of um, it's a prototyping app this is what we use I haven't signed in on my iPad but this is what we use to create our UX designs in multi so that was for like a previous brief I did next I have this post-it app and this is just basically like a post-it note app and so if you enjoy using post-it notes and everything you can literally um, I haven't used this a lot but you can literally like create um, little post-it notes of different things and you can create like boards and then you could put a whole bunch of sticky notes on the boards and everything so it's quite a cool app especially if you do use post-it notes and everything and you want to become paperless I'd suggest this app <laughs> then I have Keynote and Keynote is just where I make all my presentations for uni again I don't use it so much on my iPad I do use it more on my laptop but it is there in case I do want to just view things from my iPad and then I have Mindly 
which I recently downloaded so yeah but I had used this before so you do just like you can make man mind maps in this app um, let's just see if they have like an example so for example like this you can just create like one huge mind map and like it's kind of like endless and limitless so this is a good app to have if you want to create mind maps my next folder is called write and in here I just have pages which is where I write all my essays on again I use my laptop more than I use my iPad for this but it is there in case I do want to just finish up something and then I have Grammarly which is something I just use to help me with writing my essays I haven't bought the premium subscription or anything I just use it to like do spell check and like change some words up and like sound a little bit more professional and then I have Adobe Acrobat which is just a PDF like viewer program thing if you will so yeah um, I'm not gonna go too much into that but it literally just for PDFs and stuff then I have Adobe fill and sign and this is this is where you can literally like get a PDF and you can take your document or your PDF or anything and if you need to sign it so instead of printing it out signing something and then scanning it back in and then emailing it you can literally just download it put it in here fill in your stuff sign it and send it through again as a PDF so it just maintains everything and it's all digital the next folder I have is graphics and I have Canva, PixArt, and Superimpose. Canva is just, I think everyone knows what Canva is, but if you don't, Canva is just like a design template kind of app. I'm not even signed in on here, <laughs> but it's just like where you can go and make like um, some poster designs, flyer designs and everything. I obviously don't do that, but it's just good to have for like some quick stuff or like just something you need to just have something quick to do you can also make presentations on here you can make graphs on here so it's kind of more where I use it but like I use it more for like personal things not really like schoolwork obviously um, yeah I just created my vision board on Canva so yeah uh, I also have PixArt and I don't use PixArt but I just have it because there's some days where there is something that I will need to use PixArt for although that hasn't been any time like like any recent time because I usually just use the Adobe programs for a lot of my things but yeah it's just there in case I need it. Superimpose is a paid app and I like this app because you can literally make anything into a PNG. It's like Photoshop on the go because all I really use from Photoshop is to make things PNG so it's just like getting rid of the background and everything of some object or something so you can literally just input any like photo or any like typography or your logo with a solid white background and then you can just get rid of um, the background image in this app. There is other things you can do but I don't really use it for that so yeah. The next thing I have is my YouTube folder so here I have YouTube Studio which is just where you can check all your channel analytics and everything. I have InShot which is just what I use to size up my thumbnails perfectly for um, my banners and everything because I do make my um, YouTube thumbnails on my iPad so I'll use InShot for that. Um, you can make like a collage and size it up nicely and then I save it from InShot which is like this. So you can just input any like you can make a video in here, you can put your photos in here, like you can edit stuff in here. But I mainly use a collage feature and I just collage some photos together for my thumbnail. And then I save it and take it into Fonto, which basically you can just input any like um, text over stuff. So yeah, you can just literally add text, add your text and yeah, you're done kind of thing. And then you can change the color and stuff. Yeah. So that is what I use Fonto for. I then have Lightroom. The next folder I have is Draw. And this is probably my favorite folder. So I have Procreate, which is obvious. Everyone has Procreate. If you don't, it's just a drawing app and you could draw a whole bunch of things. You can like 
yeah I, you can play around with this quite often like quite a lot so it's basically just a drawing app you can create anything um, I created like this wallpaper for my phone um, you can literally draw anything you can even do like little animations in here so for example I think this one was an animation no I did make an animation of this I don't know where it is though but yeah so you can like literally draw anything anyone and yeah it's just a fun app to have and you can make little gifs and animations and stuff then I have Victonator and this is just something I downloaded last year when I just did not like um, Adobe Illustrator. So back to this thing. So you can literally, it's basically like Adobe Illustrator. So for all like my graphic design friends that do have iPad Pros and everything, this is great because you can convert this into a uh, Adobe Illustrator file. So you can literally, it works exactly like how the pen tool works. So that's basically what you do. You have your um, selector tool, your director select, your scissors tool, pen tool, pencil, um, brush tool, etc. You even have a shape tool, eraser tool, and all of that. I don't do my illustrations in here, but if I want to, I could. So you can literally just like do like the pen tool like this like just do the outlines of things and it kind of it literally works the same as how you would use your trackpad or your mouse and whatever so you can literally create digital vector drawings on your iPad etc etc and convert it into an illustrator file or a Photoshop file so this is a great app to have especially if you just want to work on like things on the go and stuff so yeah it's just a nice little app to have um, I don't use it but it is there in case I do want to use it. I then have Adobe Draw which is another drawing app from Adobe. You can use this app to draw anything so it's sort of like Procreate but with limited brushes. Um, so yeah you can draw anything and you can like convert it into an Illustrator file which is really great. With Procreate you can only do it into a Photoshop file, so I have Adobe Draw for that reason. Adobe Fresco I haven't used, but I downloaded it because it has like a very nice watercolor feature. But I have not used it yet, so I can't really comment on it. I then have Adobe Capture, and this is what I use. I'm not going to open it now, but like you basically just hold your like camera up, and if you really like the colors of like a certain image or something you see you can literally hold it up and it'll pick out the colors for you and make like a color palette for you which is really really cool and then have puddle which i also recently downloaded um it's just basically one giant like uh like sketch pad so it's like an infinity board so you can literally like create a new paper and then like you can zoom out like it's like an endless map like an endless page like it doesn't have an end so you can keep drawing and drawing and drawing and linking things which is really really cool so you can zoom out and zoom in as much as you want you can move as much as you want it is literally just one whole solid um thing so i think that's pretty cool especially if you have big ideas and like one huge like project and you just need to plan stuff out i think this is really great my next folder which is inspire and in this folder, I just have Pinterest, Tumblr, my Behance, oop, Dribbble, We Heart It, Visco, and Spotify. So this is just like where I can find inspiration for stuff and everything. So yeah, this is just my little inspiration folder. If you want to find me on anything, it is at Tam30 for everything. Besides Spotify, that's at Tumblr. Then I have my entertainment folder. And here is just like all the things that I have on my iPad that are like for entertainment purposes. So I have YouTube, Netflix, Showmax, DSTV Now. I have the Kindle app and I also have Duolingo. I then have like my social folder and here I just have messages, FaceTime, Skype, Instagram and Unum. I spoke about Unum in my what's on my iPhone. It's just an Instagram planning app. You can also get it on your iPad. Then in my photo folder, I have my camera, photos, I have Facetune and Snapseed. 
Those are pretty basic. Facetune I use to just widen up backgrounds and everything. Snapseed I use the brush tool for like changing the temperature of things but now that I have my like set Instagram filter I don't actually use this for anything but as I said before it's just good to have these things just in case you do need to do something. I then have my miscellaneous folder. So my miscellaneous folder literally just has all the extra iPad apps. So I have settings, app store, safari, find my iPad, files, google drive, google photos. I keep all my photos in google photos. The clock and then I have smurfs. Yes I have smurfs. It's just a game that I really like and I had as a child and yeah I just started <laughs> like I just downloaded it again and just started playing it again. I have Chrome because I prefer it because it actually saves my password to go into my um, university website so I can just literally tap the password and just go in instead of having to retype my username and password and logging in. I then have Spark which I spoke about in my what's on my iPhone. I then have GoodNotes 5 which I'll go into now. Um, then I have Reminders, Calendar and Notes. Good notes 5 is so it obviously is paid and everything um, let me just take you to the beginning here so you can create like little folders of your different subjects and then you can like create notebooks inside that folder then you can create more folders and so on and so forth I also save like um, PDFs and books and textbooks and everything we don't really have textbooks but like any like pdf documents or readings or anything i put them in here i also save um presentations in the app so yeah i basically just have this is for my multi so i have like a little brainstorming thing where i just take really really bad notes here but it's just like brainstorming for stuff. Um, I also save my briefs into GoodNotes 5, so I have all my briefs and like, yeah. Um, then obviously I told you I have my books there. Then for um, like my theory subjects, I still have like my briefs. I have the referencing guide inside here. Then I just split my like, um, le like less, like, subject into terms so i have like term one and in term one i have like the presentations for term one then i have my reading list for term one and then i have um term two and it's the same thing um i also have my like tutorials in here which i started doing this term only i didn't put my term one stuff in but i want to um yeah then i have my my lecture notes so for my lecture notes, I just use the Cornell note-taking method. I don't do it properly, but that is what I use, like that's the paper template. So I literally just write my title, I have any questions on the side, the notes that I take are here, and then this is just for a summary, if you want to summarize your stuff. So yeah, and then that's sort of how I do my notes. There is so many paper templates in here, so many like book covers in here. You can also import your own um, book covers, like you can make your own on like Procreate or you can find some on Pinterest and like import that as a like a book cover. So yeah, you can literally like add an image and then you can put that in, you can make a new notebook folder. You can scan documents straight into here. You can take a photo and it'll save into here. You can import like remotely anything in here. And you can also just take a quick note to jot down stuff. Um, yeah, I also have like my planner in here. So I just, they also have like this like calendar layout. So you can like see your whole calendar layout in here. So that's where I have my planner and everything. So this is where I think this app like stands out from the rest because you literally have all these paper templates oops, <laughs> that you can use and yeah you can just do so so much with this app um i probably do a separate video going more into depth about this but yeah if you want a more in-depth like view on this and how i use this app please let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure to do that for you. However, 
yeah that is basically everything on my ipad so that is the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope that you gained some tips and tricks for your ipad and some apps that you can go and download now and yeah please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it um, comment down below any video suggestions you might have for me and that you'd like me to do I love you guys so so much and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.